Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with uh, another video. Today, I got a compact Presario. This right here is one of my old computers here. I forget the specs on this right here. It's been laying around for years and years. It's really, really old. I just want to kind of, you know, take it apart uh, and just kind of dive into it. Let's just go ahead and let's just jump into the video and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, show y'all the computer and let's stop all the talking. So this right here is the uh, HP computer that I'm referring to, HP. So it says Intel inside. Got quite a bit glare. It's got a Pentium 4 designed for Microsoft Windows XP. Yeah, uh, my light is like really killing us here, but yeah, this light right here. I may be doing like a review on this light too, but uh, yeah, without this light uh, that I just showed, yeah. But anyway, uh, so let's kind of turn the computer around. Here's all the information. Pause the video if you need to. I'm trying to read this right here. I can't even make this out. I'm pretty sure y'all can. It's a HP Compact something. And yes, I did put that uh, tape on this here myself. This computer is by far anything fancy. Alright, uh, give y'all a... Uh, this right here. I don't even know if this right here is like a DVD burner or whatever. I can't even really make this out. My eyes are getting bad and stuff like that. So you have a, a, looks like a microphone headphone jack. Then you have two USB ports. Then you have whatever them two guys are right there. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, uh, you got the power button right down here. I'm probably zoomed in a little bit too much. Like I say, this right here is a really old computer. It still works. Uh, I gave it to my father-in-law. He never used it. This computer here, I've done had it at least myself for probably about at least I want to say 11 years I've been married for 12 years going on 13 years but uh yeah you have all these ports back here uh looks like four USB ports no six USB ports Ethernet port uh and you have all this stuff here uh VGA And yeah, and right back here you got the power supply. Let's uh, get into this right here. To get this here off, you have it's a, a tab here, and it's another one uh, over here on this side or whatever. What you want to do is you want to press. You press these in and you pull 
board like that. What do we have up in here? Uh, now this right here was something that I had done years and years and years and years and years ago. This right here, um, I believe it goes on this right here and I could never like get it back on or I lost the screws or something. This power supply just kind of flips back like that. And if you ever needed to change this power supply, I mean, it would be pretty simple. You just would uh, disconnect this right here. Let me get y'all some light. There you go. Yeah, we, you would just uh, disconnect this right here, right back over here you have a uh it's a six pin connector yeah uh, that's all it is see it's just a six pin connector uh yeah we'll just plug this back up i'm not a huge hp fan uh matter of fact i'm not an hp fan at all this right here is the I guess it's a DVD writer or something like that. I think this hard drive made me uh, say that we, we are going to power this thing up. Okay, let's uh, disconnect this right here. I think this capacitor is bulging a little bit. Let's uh, get the other tripod. I'm curious. I'm very, very, very curious of. Um, this capacitor back here uh but anyway yeah let's uh just kind of have like a let's have like a nice inspection i'm going to look at the capacitors yeah it looks like these two capacitors to my left and also to my right, looks like they're good. These right here are Japanese capacitors. And then, uh, them, oh, it's four right here. And this right here was that uh, six pin connector right there. So here is the, bulging capacitor does that look like it's bulging or is that just me i would like to try to uh yeah that's, that's bulging let me uh do it like this Let's look at the other capacitors. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it seems like this one right here is the only one that's bulging. Hmm. Never knew that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just dragging the power supply around, which is just sitting right there. It's not going to hurt anything. Got a nice beefy little uh, heat sink. We're also going to uh, check it also as well. Uh, what else was we going to look at? Oh, okay, well, yeah, check out this speaker. Now, this right here lets you know that this computer is vintage, old. I don't know what kind of fan that is. But anyway, yeah, I don't know how much memory is up in here. However, uh, I do have a box right up here you know, that has memory. I have all kind of cables kind of stuff got my fan going right there but anyway yeah uh, 
you got something else you want to be looking at uh, in another video. But yeah, I'm going to see maybe what all, what's the max memory I can put up in here. But I never did know about that Borgia capacitor. Alright, let's see uh, if we can do better. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can do better. I'm trying to get this uh, power supply to actually kind of <laughs> fold uh, back down, but it's, well now it does it. Yeah, it's something, uh, let me get wire cutters here. It ain't nothing but uh, this little guy right here. Yeah, I've been shot mul multiple times by my t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, work clothes, work clothes. Alright, there's that. Just throw stuff around. Make it look like you know what you're doing. All these wires. Okay, yeah, that right there would go back down to something like that. Alright. All right, so now uh, what I want to do is take this uh, heat sink here off. So we're just going to use a flathead screwdriver. And I don't remember when the last time the thermal paste was actually uh, changed on this thing. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to disconnect this uh, cable and it's right here. I know my hands are kind of big and plus I'm zoomed in. Huh. It's most definitely uh, dirty. I don't know when the last time this right here was changed or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this right here up right now. So. Let's go ahead and let's do that. I got uh, some 70% rubbing alcohol. It's got uh, some cotton balls. Douse a little bit on him. He tried to run away. Got all that right there. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna clean this here off real good. I wound up having to remove this CPU. I don't have any clue what this CPU is. Let me see if I can maybe zoom in on it. Maybe y'all can tell me. But we're gonna find out what it is. I may have another CPU uh, better than this. I'm not 100% sure. We need to place this CPU back in. So you see the arrow here and over here. All right, we need to carefully lock that back in. And you see that it has notches uh, on the side too as well. You just wanna make sure that you very carefully drop that back in and be very 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 careful all right so we close that I'm trying to do this where y'all can see you got this little latch right here this right here is take two you do that and you just want to do that you go over just a little bit to your uh, what 
left that's my left whatever anyway and just it'll uh, catch what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this uh phillips head screw right here and yeah so let's go ahead and uh let's zap it on that real quick i don't think you even have to take it all the way out you can just loosen it Uh, oh, what, what, what are we caught up on? Some junk. I'm trying to see, uh, we're all kind of. Alright, let me unplug. It's a cable. Right here. Let's see if that helps. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, figure this hair out and I'll bring y'all back. All right, so uh, after about a minute or two, uh, I had finally figured out it's this guy right here. <laughs> so, yeah. clips somewhere but what I really want to see is is uh mainly what the hard drive is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, remove I just seen the screw this right here and you don't have to take it like all the way out is a old 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 hard drive you know what i'm gonna do you don't know what i'm gonna do all right so we're here at the desktop here we got the hard drive connected with using the uh docking station here i like to use this it's called hard disk signal i think it's a pretty good piece of software it's free i'll leave it now in, in the description below but the one that we're looking for is the Western Digital, and that's this here. The power on time, it says that it's been powered on for 1,192 days, 50, no, that's 23 hours, estimated remaining lifetime, more than 100 days. Seems like it's in pretty good health. I would not recommend using uh, this drive so here's all the stuff that's uh, on it right here bejewel 2 deluxe this right here is where it was actually installed at let me just do it like this we are still going to try to uh, power this uh, computer up and speaking of powering this computer up i was talking to my father-in-law this morning and he was saying that he tried to power the computer up and this right here was I'm assuming maybe maybe some years ago I don't know I don't even think he really remembers he is 73 years old I don't even think he used this computer he said that he thinks it was a bad power supply I don't know if it's a bad power supply we did see the back capacitor if it was the power supply he said that it would turn on and all it would do it would be a flashing cursor and that's all it would do so either operating system is corrupted or maybe bad memory maybe something to do with the cpu y'all let me know down in the comments below what y'all think now we're going to tighten down this heat sink I 
guess without further ado, let's test this thing out. See what happens. Uh, that doesn't sound good. So it has a flashing light. right down there so yeah I don't know what that could be I don't know what's going on with this right here uh, everything is hooked up right yeah this fan over here is working let me try some here oh check it out and I I swear uh, look look at this look 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 uh, where's the power button? So I explained here in a moment what I had done. Uh, come on now. And I didn't put a uh, thermal compound on this, so I got to kind of make this as quick as I can. So let's see what happens. The fan, it's spinning as you can see right there. So I'm going to uh, show y'all what I had kind of messed with. It's a button right down there. <laughs> right there. Holy crap. Here we go. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, look at this down here. Okay, so uh, so we have all this right here on the screen. 201 memory error. <coughs> the memory test performed. Startup failed. Removing and replacing the memory mode. Okay, I will, will get my keyboard. All right, so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to reseat all this memory. Push down on both sides. Wait for it to hear it snap. All right, so uh, we finally uh, got it. Uh, right now we're only working with, uh, I've done a lot of stuff offline. Apparently uh, this battery here is not good. So yeah, this right here has Windows XP on it. Yeah, I see, it's talking about the battery. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, but let's not get our hopes up too much. So uh, I need to figure out how to uh, replace uh, this battery. So we found a battery, finally. Well, now we need to take out this battery right here. So to do that there, need to kind of move this out the way we just uh, change that all right so uh, we're in the BIOS right now and uh, just using the keyboard and we're going to press enter we're going to uh, set the date and the time we got the date and time set let's see what happens And start windows normally. All right, here we go. Finally. Ha ha. Here we go. We have the Arctic Silver 5, and we're just going to apply Arctic Silver 5 yeah all right so i want to show you all the memory that uh was in here uh i want to say this may be even the original sticks 
Now, this right here is a one gigabyte stick. It's tap F1 like it's asking. Wow. This was my wife's computer. I know this right here is uh, hers because of like the desktop background and stuff. Here is the system specs of this here. This right here is an old Google Chrome. Now, there will be a part two on this computer. Maybe install Windows 7, maybe even Windows 10, who knows? So uh, yeah, I just have to figure out what the situation is. But I hope y'all like this video here of the HP Compact DC 5100. And anyway, uh, yeah. I will see y'all in part two.